From this lecture onwards, we will start with a new topic called pointers in C. This topic is very important in C programming. So let's get started. Suppose in my computer, I have a memory which is capable of storing 20 bytes of information. Each block of memory is capable of storing one byte of information. I am assuming that starting address of this memory is 1000 and ending address is 1090. Okay. Now, I want to store an integer inside this memory. And my assumption is that integer will maximum to maximum take two bytes of memory. That is, it will take two blocks of memory. For storing an integer, I am taking one variable i which is of integer type. Therefore, it is capable to store an integer. And I am assuming that it will take these two blocks. Now, let me tell you what a pointer is all about. Pointer is a variable which is capable of storing the initial address of the object which it wants to point to. In this example, I am assuming that I have a pointer which will point to this particular object i. And for this purpose, it will simply point to the base address or the initial address of this object which is 1002. Pointing to means it will simply store the base address or the initial address of the object. In this case, it is variable i. Now, let me give you the definition of a pointer. Pointer is a special variable that is capable of storing some address. In our example, it is storing the base address of integer variable i. It can store the initial address of any object. But in our example, it is storing the initial address or base address of integer variable i. It is a special variable. It is not a normal variable which will store integer, character or a float. It will store the address or the base address of the variable or an object which it wants to point to. Also, it points to a memory location where the first byte is stored. That is, it simply points to the base address of the variable. In our example, it is 1002. In this lecture, I just want to give you the glimpse of what a pointer is all about and how to imagine a pointer. In the next lecture, we will start with how to declare pointers. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.